I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Karen, serving the Lord in the city of the great King, Jerusalem. Come from the four winds and be released, O breath of God. Be released. What a season we're in. We're in a healing season. Lord, we thank you that we're seeing demons come out of people. We're seeing the sick heal. We're seeing the blind eyes open. We're seeing the lame walk. God, you are amazing. You're amazing. And we love you because you've got such compassion to heal the sick. In Jesus' name, whoa, if you need healing, if you need deliverance from a demon today, you're going to get it. In the name of Jesus, you're going to get it. I'm in Mark 7, verse 25. A woman had a young daughter with an unclean spirit. She heard about him and she came and fell at his feet. She humbled herself and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek and she kept asking him to cast the demon out of her daughter. And Jesus said to her, let the children be filled first, for it's not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she answered and said, yes, Lord, Yet even the little dogs under the table eat from the children's crumbs. And he said to her, for this saying, go your way, go your way, the demon has gone out of your daughter. Now what happened here? This woman was, had fell at his feet. She humbled herself. And the Lord said the children need to be filled first. And then he says, it's not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And then the woman said, but yes, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the crumbs. And the Lord said for this saying, go your way, the demon has gone out of your daughter. And this woman had humbled herself. And I want to tell you something. She got before the Lord. Her daughter had an unclean spirit and she only wanted a crumb. She didn't care if it was a crumb off the floor. She didn't care if it was a place where he walked. She didn't care if it was some place where he talked. This woman just wanted a crumb. She wanted a crumb. And the Lord said, because of this, because of this, what kind of great faith is that? Even a crumb God is gonna heal my daughter. The Lord healed her daughter of unclean spirits. And I wanna tell you right now, you got an unclean spirit? I'm gonna pray right now. God. For everybody sitting out there listening to this that got an unclean spirit, first of all, I ask that you forgive them for their sins. I ask that you break the curse off them, God, the inequities off them. Break the curse, God. And I ask right now that you drive the unclean spirit out. The Lord rebuke you, unclean spirit. Let my people go. In the name of Jesus, unclean spirit, come out of them. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come on, that unclean spirit's got to let go because 2,000 years ago, the King of Glory paid your debt. He paid your debt that you're debt free. You're debt free today. You're debt free because he shed his blood for you 2,000 years ago. If you don't know Jesus, ask Jesus into your heart. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I make you Lord over me. Forgive me my sins. Lord, baptize me with your spirit. Lord, wash me in your blood. That fast, you're debt free. Unclean spirit, I'm speaking by the spirit of the Lord. Let my people go, saith the Lord. Let my people go, saith the Lord. The Lord rebuke you, unclean spirit. The sword of the Lord be released against you, unclean spirit. The Lord thrash your seed against the rock and annihilate the seed of Satan. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you from Jerusalem. Come on, it's time to be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Amen.